Hey everybody, this is Brian here from Co-op Critics, and I am continuing my playthrough of Dark Souls Remastered on the PS4. A lot has happened since the last time I recorded, so... Um, if I edited the episodes correctly, you saw me defeat some Black Knights, and then I ended up going up into the Undead Parish and actually fighting the Gargoyles which is where I got the sweet helm, my gargoyle helm. Uh, then I went down, I didn't actually record me going down into the lower undead burg, but I did that and beat the Capra Demon, which is where I got this sweet uh, black leather armor. Now, we are going to go into the depths. Uh, the other thing I did is I went into the... Uh, I forget what the name of the forest is, but I went into the forest and got the Divine Ember, which means that I will soon be able to craft faith-based weapons. Um, I have a longsword that I'm going to ascend to Divine soon. Uh, it's already plus five. And actually, I should have upgraded now that I think about it. I should have took the time to upgrade my halberd, because where we're going now is we are going to the depths. And if I remember correctly, which I probably don't, but if I do, this is going to be the way that we get there. Damn it, I can also buy miracles now. I wonder if I have enough. Let's see. I think it's going to be 10,000, but let's just see. Let's use one more. I should be able to buy... I didn't want to join the Covenant to buy Cleric Spells, but I think... Because Rhea is here now, I think I can oh, buy... My guess, I will be depart so, it was a pleasure. Oh, middle. I want to purchase item. Yes, Great Heal excerpt. 14, I have 14. Uh, bu -bu -bu. Restores high HP. I think I want that. Homeward Bones, I have plenty of. Seeks Guidance, Heal. <clears throat> Force is good. How much is heal? 4,000. So I could get heal. I could get force. Maybe I'll do that instead of great heal excerpt. Restores HP. This is going to restore less HP. I get five uses of that. I get one use of Great Heal Excerpt. Okay, you know what? I think I am going to do that. I'm going to get Heal. And I'm going to get Force. And I have a Talisman already. Again. That's a whole other storyline that we're not going to even get involved with. Um, although, we're going to get involved with it, but I'm not going to go into it. So, I should probably rest at this bonfire. Any mercy? 
merchants nearby. Oh, there is a merchant in the... Okay, good. I wonder if she sells arrows, because that's kind of one of the things we need. You go away now. I did upgrade this um, straight sword. So my base damage on this sword now is pretty good. Is that it? If I remember correctly, I unlocked an area over here. It's not that, though. Over here. And there's a merchant down here. From whom I can get mosses. But I forget what else she sells. And the door we're looking for is here, maybe? Yeah, it is here. Okay, good. Poison throwing knight. What else we got? Ooh, she does have standard arrows. I have 35. Okay, good. So we can get arrows from her. What else does she sell? Dung pie. We don't need that yet. That we might need. That transient curse leader. Uh, reduces poison buildup. I'm going to buy one of these. And I'm going to buy... Some arrows! Okay. And the beauty is, now if we die... We don't have a whole bunch of souls on us. Here we go. There are assassins down there that I don't need to deal with. That is the uh, lower undead burg, I believe is what it's called, where I came from before. And while I was here, I unlocked this door, which takes us down into the depths. And what's cool about the depths well, what sucks about the depths is the part we're going to go through in a second. What's cool about the depths is that we're going to farm some green titanite here. There's that guy. There's my boy. Oh, God. This area can become overwhelming. Because there's a lot of dudes and some dogs and a butcher that reminds me uh, do I want my pyro now or do I want Oh, sugar. <laughs> yep. I was gonna sw Oh, hello, buddy. And he's got Havel's gear on, too. Well, we ain't winning this one. No! One shot. He one-shotted me. Well played, sir. I, I can't. I can't fault you for that. Oh, crap, though. 
Oh no, okay, I did rest at Firelink Shrine. Good. Okay, good. And now I'm hollow again. And so, here we go again. Dude. Whoa, look at you. Oh, whoa, nicely done. I think that was the first time I got invaded in this playthrough. And I am not really geared for... PvP. There is a bonfire in the depths. But I have to wait. Wasn't even really that many souls to speak of. That guy down there is the guy that we have to worry about. These guys are just tedious. Unless you let them gang up on you. And then, they can be deadly. I think I can drop down here and avoid most of them. And the reason I would want to do that is to get to the bonfire and save. And then I could always come back. Because there's a second butcher up there. See, if you can look over in the top left corner, you can see his blade slowly swaying in and out. And the thing I'm worried about the most here, mainly because I can't remember when they come in, is the dogs. 
Oh, there's one right there. There we go. I can't remember if there's two or three. Oh, there's definitely at least two. I'm pretty sure there's three. Oh, damn it. I knew you'd find me eventually. Oh god, I knew you'd find me eventually too. Holy crap. Get away, get away from him. Oh god. He's very fast for a man his size. Thank goodness. Did you drop your butcher knife? Because that's what I really want. Okay, now let's just take a brief minute. And realize that I need to equip my talisman for now. Oh, damn it! I didn't attune my spells yet. What an idiot. Ay, oh, caramba. So, I can't. Okay, that's fine. Oh, he did drop down. Oh, he's coming up here. Okay, crap. Oh, there he is. Oh, Jesus. He is freaking fast. That's really the move that I want him to do. Oh, see, he doesn't get stunned or staggered. <laughs> he 
He's not doing it. That's what I want. Please be the machete. Oh, a sack. You dropped the sack. Okay. Oh, I knew there was at least one more dog there. Huh, you didn't get killed either, huh? Okay. Whoa. Now here is a shortcut. But I don't know if I want to take that shortcut yet. Just checking to make sure that wasn't a mimic. Oh, the large ember. I forgot about that. Oh, this is this is a very important person for our playthrough. Thank you. I would have been a supper without you. Been eating alive. I shudder to think. Thank you. Thank you dearly. I am Luensius. Oh, the great swamp. Laurentius is going to become our pyromancy teacher. Okay. So, basically... He is going to go back to Firelink Shrine, and we will see him there, and we will be able to buy pyromancies from him there. Which is awesome. Now that other butcher was right there and would have dropped down on my head as soon as I walked out. Which we do not want. I really don't remember where most of the enemies are around here. Which is going to make for a very interesting time. Oh, I see a couple though. This is where the halberd comes in really handy.
so now that we have slimes in here, or whatever they're called, we have to be mindful of what is up. It's also really dark down here. See all those slimes? Hmm. There we go. Notice how they don't fall down on him. Now, none of those sons of guns drop anything, which totally sucks because what they drop is green titanite. And what's pretty awesome about this area right here is you can actually farm it. Or green titanite. So we're gonna rest here. Are we gonna rest here? Yeah, we're gonna rest here. Now we can attune our magic. And now... We can equip that heal spell. But... also summon in some friends here, but we're not going to do that yet. So I spared you all of the farming that I just did, but I got my 10 green titanite shards, which I will later use to upgrade a divine weapon to plus 5, but I can't do that right now. And we have to explore the rest of the area. So I think what I'm going to do, because frankly... There's so many people that are playing this right now. Watch this. If I reverse hollowing, they're going to be mad because I haven't unlocked all the shortcuts yet. But... Because these guys just want to fight bosses. But let's just... Let's... You know what? Let's summon this one. And let's summon one more. Like, I've had playthroughs of Dark Souls. After the game went through its super popular time. Where you can't find a summon sign. So, the idea...
that there are people here left and right. These people, unfortunately, are going to get mad because they just want to fight the boss, and we are not there yet. I think... people to summon. Well, you know what? Let's go with this guy right now. Because if we actually make it to the boss... Did we already do that? Alright, dude, you don't have to fight everybody for me. That wasn't the purpose of me inviting you, it was for us to play together! Oh god. Did you go through here? One of these is a trap. Handler. Dude, where'd you go? Okay, those are the mice. Not what I wanted to do. Channeler is dead. What's that? Oh god, I knew that was one of them. That's what I was waiting for. Like Hulk mice that come out of there. Ah! There's two of them.
cleared out that area. I don't know where my buddy went. He just went here. No, we came through that way. Oh, he must have went down here. Wait, I just came through there. Oh, is that a slime? Oh, there you are, dude. Oh, crap. Shit! That is exactly what I did not want to do. Oh, there you are. Sorry. Okay, how do we unlock the door? To unlock the shortcut, bro. Thank you. This is what I needed to do. Thank you. Oh, oh, we're just going to fight the boss now. Okay. That's who we want. We want Solaire. Okay. We got Solaire. It's very important to our playthrough that we have Solaire around us. And... Is there anyone else we need? Is that going to do it? I wasn't really ready for this yet. <laughs> so I'm kind of a little 
nervous, and we didn't unlock the shortcut, which is not good. He is very scary. That is awesome. Oh god. That's what we wanted to do. He's gonna start throwing up soon. Oh god. And he also charges. So, kicks. He also starts throwing up. Oh god. Holy crap, we did it. Yes. Thank you. So we now have completed two fights <clears throat> with Solaire. And we have the Blight Town key. I do not want to go down to Blight Town yet. Let's talk to this gentleman. I have a good day to you. I'm Donald of Xena. I'm just I adore trinkets and oddities, so I trade. See what he has. Crystal straight sword, that's cool. Crystal crystal. Standard arrows. Helm of the wise. I do like that stuff. Armor of the glorious. That is 47. It's very heavy though. So that would be 12, 27, 37. 47,000. I don't really think that's my style. Hmm. I will talk to you though. I'm afraid I don't see. Hmm. I'm afraid I don't see anything here. Okay. Uh okay, if we're not going to go down to Blight Town, then we have to go back. Out of the depths. Uh oh. She already left for the catacombs. Okay, so we've battled with Solaire by our side twice. 
beating the gargoyles and the gaping dragon. Puts us in good shape for our storyline. Back to our favorite bonfire so that we can upgrade. And then we have choices of where we want to go next. We could go to Blight Town, we could go to the forest, we could go. Oh, those are probably two places. We have to go to Blight Town because we have to ring the other bell and that will open up Sense Fortress, so that's probably where we'll go next. Okay. So now we have a divine longsword. Plus five. So it's the C scaling with faith. So it does 108 physical, 132 magic. This will be really helpful when we go down to the catacombs because it will ensure that the skeletons actually stay dead. So, all right, cool. We accomplished a lot. So if you like this video, then please click like and subscribe to our YouTube page. And I'll be back again soon with more Dark Souls.